But folks, welcome to So Bad It's Good, presented by Betches Media. Now, I just talked about Vanderpump Villa. You have just watched the premiere episode on Monday night. And if you haven't, stop this right now and go watch it and then come back and listen to this interview or listen to this and go watch it. But you're going to want to watch this every Monday. Now, in my 20 years of watching reality TV... I got to tell you, I have an eye for these things, and I think we have the two breakout stars of Vanderpump Villa. So today, together, (laughs) I'm shocked that they're doing this together. We have Hannah Fouch and Marciano Brunette. Welcome to the show. Hi. Hi, Ryan. How you doing? How are you? I'm good. Where are you? Are you at the villa? Are you at Roosevelt right now? I wish we were at the villa. No, we're we're in downtown Disney right now. Yeah. Okay. I see the bed in the background, and I was like, what's going on here? Not Chateau Roosevelt uh, whatsoever. <laughs> the, the Chateau Roosevelt beds were about this big. <laughs> <laughs> no, I, we were on top I was of each other. The, the, well, I hopefully not too much. I mean, like, listen, you guys are there to work, and there is a lot of partying happening, which I love to watch. But uh, you guys will see that uh, I'm telling you, this show is going to hit all those pleasure buttons that you love with reality TV. But what I wanted to ask you guys, you know, what's it like leading up to this? Like, are you? Do you have any expectations about your life changing? Are you excited? Like, what's the feeling right now for you guys? I'm excited. I'm excited for America to like get to know us and like see how our relationship is and our dynamics. So I'm excited. Yeah, same here. I mean, <laughs> there's so many things that you go through your head that you're wondering about and uh, how's it going to look and are you going to look good or are you going to look bad? And then you kind of are realizing like, hey, you did everything. You know what happened. Like it is what it is. And we're now <laughs> getting to that point where we're very excited to see what happens. Uh, listen, Marciano, you look great in the first episode, but I mean, I'm like, you look great physically, like emotionally oh, and mentally. That's where the issues happen. You, yeah. you like, listen, Marciano, you are going to see in this first episode, you're immediately going to be like, dude, what are you doing? <laughs> but it is hysterical to watch. Um, what was it like to work with Lisa Vanderpump? Because she is kind of a legend with everything that she's done in TV, with all of her restaurants, all of that. What was it like to work with her on a day to day basis? Yeah, honestly, she's somebody that I've been admiring and looking up to for since Hannah actually introduced me to Vanderpump Rules back in the day, which was like four or five years ago when we first got together. And I've just, she's just unbelievable. She's just something that I could never dream of actually working for. And then once I did, it was even better than I could ever expect. Like she's just so like welcoming, loving, she's supportive, but she's also a boss that like makes you want to like excel your own self. Like she's like, you see how hard she's working and you want to work just as hard as she is or harder to even try and meet her expectations, which is something that I could only dream of doing for her. Mm -hmm. And Hannah, do you agree? I 100% agree. I want to be like her. I like would try to go and steal her makeup artist, try to do my hair. Yeah, <laughs> all the I mean, time. Uh, well, I mean, you brought up your relationship and, and Marciano, you said that Hannah introduced you to Lisa Vanderpump and all of all of her uh, her yeah. legendary status. But yeah. like, that brings up your relationship. And in the first episode, you talk about your relationship. And I guess the question is like, <laughs> Where are you guys now? Because I've seen this entire series. And in the first episode, first off, was there trepidation about going with your ex? Like you guys are both each other's exes in the first episode. I mean, that's intense to go to the south of France to work in a new environment with each other. Was there a lot of fear going into this? Yeah, we would pray every day. No, I'm kidding. (laughs) No. (laughs) Uh, You know what? Honestly, Ryan, we are somebody that we work together in Vegas right now. We have worked together for the last four years together. Um, So even when things are not going well with us, we always find a way to to get the job done. And we knew that when it came to this this show and working for Lisa, no matter what was going to happen, we were going to try our absolute best to to not let those problems come to light. So whether we did a good job or not, I'm not too sure, but I think we did. I, I, I you, hope we did at least. So. You did at times. You did at times. This yeah. is a recurring theme throughout this season. Hannah, do you think you did a good, t- uh, 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 did you think you were good in keeping the relationship at bay and keeping work as the focus? Um, 
No, I mean, there were times, there was a lot of bumps in the road, but yeah, I did try to get my mind in a place where like we could work together and navigate through it. So yeah, I mean, I think we did a good job, a, a good job. Yeah. Well, I mean, in the first episode, Marciano gets plastered the night before, and we have a shot of you hovering over Marciano, who is in bed saying he has a headache, but he's also saying how much he loves you, how much he loves you, and you're just kind of petting him. And I just thought, wow, this is, but that's reality show gold. I mean, it Wait, was, was he amazing. Doing? He, you were, I, he was I, like, I, oh, I've got such a headache. I've got such a headache because he had been drinking all night long. And then he was yeah. also just kind of expressing his love for you. And yeah. you were just yeah. kind of petting him like a dog. It was great. Yeah. Sometimes you have to pet people like that, that are dogs. <laughs> Yeah, <laughs> I'm. I'm gonna take that as a good thing. Honestly, yeah. I'm glad she was. He's like a baby, you know. You have to coddle them, so uh, you know when they're, in, uh, you know. Um, <laughs> well, I mean, so I mean, you were approached. Like, how did you? How were you approached to be on this show? Yeah. So I'll let you start. Yeah. So Stephen had approached me. Actually, I had gotten the call um, well in advance back. Uh, I don't. I don't know when the the actual casting was going on, but my I got my phone call around June, somewhere in that range from from Stephen. I knew he wanted to go through the process of trying to get on the show. He knew how long I had been obsessed with Lisa, been obsessed with Vanderpump Rules, um, being friends with some of the castmates, everything. Like knew I wanted to do that. Went through that process, and then um, as the process was almost ending, actually Stephen reaches out to me and was <laughs> like, "Hey, Lisa." is looking for somebody else on this show, like another girl. And I was like, oh, uh, okay. So I have someone, I don't know if it's a good idea or a bad idea. It's a great idea. Uh, that... Well, at the time we were like not talking. We like, we were like, we were- <laughs> I think we broke up, we, we were, were like, like five months prior to that. Yeah, we like we broke up talking. like five, and we were like not really talking. <laughs> so I was like- This is the time I want to pet you. Yeah, yeah. when I brought even the idea <laughs> up to her, she was like- I was like, hell no, I'm not doing it. Yeah, this. she's like, I'm not doing it. She's like, I'm not doing it well, with you. I, Hannah, I was almost, did you think that Marciano was just trying to get back with like, hey, I could put you on TV right now. Like, I mean, <laughs> no, did you, you even- You know what's funny? I think he honestly thought he was like, yeah, just audition. Let's see if you got it. And I was like, okay, watch, watch me get it. <laughs> but but at first you it. were like, kind of, you were like, oh, I'm a little hesitant about doing yeah. that. And then I mean, you started the interview process. Yeah, I mean, I was hesitant because him and I, we weren't speaking. And I mean, we were on fine terms, but not on the best terms. So I was like, I don't know if America's going to want to see this yeah. oh. unfold on TV. But um, yeah, I'm very yeah. happy that I did it. And I couldn't be. And that, that was literally like with two weeks until we started filming, too. No way. Did, she like did everything. We had our last final interviews in California and in, in L.A. And. And then next thing you know, the week after we're in France yeah. and like, wow, was, that's what I was so wondering. Fast. That's, that's so quick. So, I mean, in terms of like, I was, I was so curious about like the training under Lisa Vanderpump, but this seems like it was so quick. So you guys had to kind of gel as a team really quickly, right? Well, the great thing is about this show in itself, let alone Lisa, she one not only spotted people that would be great for the show. She spotted people that were qualified for the show and that could get the job done. Mm -hmm us coming from las vegas she knew what she was getting out of us being servers in las vegas so she knew like once she got there she could train us really quickly and we we would already be ready to get the job done because of our experience and i do have to say like marciano and i may have our like personal issues but we do not gel well when we do work together like i know how he works he knows how i work so i feel like we know how yeah to yeah work well together. like a you have your own language that you guys speak and you see right. it in that scene when you're serving the guests in that first episode. Like when and... I know he's about to annoy me. <laughs> <laughs> well, and, well, and Telly's not getting those drinks out, which I was shocked because why are they sending people on break at all when the guests are there? Wondering the same thing. <laughs> Wondering the same thing. I think, I think you see in that episode is my, where my hospitality, I'm used to, a certain drink ticket times, all these things, and everything taking a while. And I start to get, Marciano starts to get antsy. He starts to get freaky a little bit. <laughs> I mean, and you did that in front of the guests, though. I was like, there is no hot, you're literally arguing in front of the guests, he which makes. <laughs> yeah. 
Um, so I wanted to introduce the audience since they've only seen the first episode to the cast members of Vanderpump Villa. And we have Andre, who's a mixologist and Andre seems like a really great guy. What, what, you know, what do you guys think of Andre? Yeah, I love, I love Andre. Andre is actually, uh, he was my, he was my bunk mate, you know? Um, so he definitely seen it all this entire process um he was honestly though he was somebody cool that i could like bounce ideas off of he was a good worker never like any problems with him which was good um i don't know if hannah could say that but yeah he was he was a really <laughs> good dude he you know he he also which was very important was he would cut the hair of all the, the guys there so uh, <laughs> he, he really made sure we looked stayed looking good as well but he was like a glue guy. He was a really good glue guy that like, you know, held a lot of us together and was funny and like, you know, good charisma. Mm -hmm. And I don't want to tease anything, but I think Andre might find love later in the season. Uh, but Hannah, where are you with nah, Andre? Is there we'll any, is there that. any issue? <laughs> Uh, no, there's no issue with Andre. I love him. I think he's an amazing person. And we got in like one little tiff, but yeah, we're still friends outside of the show. Did you uh, did you see Andre's impression of Marciano at the very end of the episode? No. He, oh, does an, he does an impression of Marciano and he says he makes fun of your wrist muscles. He's like, I gotta have wrist muscles. He totally makes fun of you at the end of the episode. Who, oh, Marciano? Marciano, yes. Oh, oh, I thought mine. I'm like, do I have big? <laughs> no, no. He's talking about Marciano. Uh, and then we move to Chef Anthony, French yeah. guy in there making beautiful food. He's, you know, that's the great thing about the show is upstairs, downstairs. So you see the staff, you see the guests, you see all these different departments. Uh, yeah. He seems like a pretty good guy. Just a, a real intense oh, yeah. chef. So down to earth. I so down to earth. Very professional. Cares about his job. Like Amazing chef. Yeah. He, he cares about his craft, which was... You could see in that in that show, he did he every di single dish like could not be out of place when it came to us serving it to them the way he wanted to describe it, and I mean it obviously made everything better in his French accent, which was which was awesome, and he was extremely good. And all the lady, yeah, we all thought he was so hot. Like. <laughs> yeah. Yeah. Okay, well here's the one I'm really curious about. Uh, right. You have a manager, Eric. <laughs> and this Eric, uh, you guys uh, listening or watching this, you got to you got to keep eyes on Eric throughout the season. What Please. are your thoughts on Eric? Because this guy and then I went to his social media yesterday. He's in like a full cowboy outfit. He's like, yeah. I'm like, wow. I was like, this guy is on another level. What were your thoughts uh, with uh, manager Eric? <laughs> I mean, my first thoughts. So when I first went into the chateau, I was I immediately was drawn to Eric. Um, I saw him picking flowers out of the <laughs> garden by himself. I was like, God help this man! Like, what is he doing? You know, like we didn't know each other yet. So um, he's extremely hilarious. He definitely keeps a good work vibe for all of us. So without Eric, I don't I don't know how we'd get through it. Yeah, he's I don't think everyone's gonna say that though to be clear not everyone's gonna not say everyone's that. gonna say that no. i think well the, us two are gonna be the two people that are 100 percent ride or die with eric we're because, team eric. yeah he's so you're team eric just, this is this is good to know because it, this yeah. guy was also getting up at the crack of dawn he's talking yeah. to animals he's watching the sunrise yeah. <laughs> this guy is a character this guy Can is I a full you? character yes i'm sleeping with marciano in his bed and because he was the only one that had the fan in his room <laughs> so we'll just say it like that. And um, he comes in at like, I think it's 6 a.m. He's like, Hannah, Hannah, look up. Marciano, look up. Slug, like this close to my face. The I'm like, on slug. oh, my God. Yeah, he, Huge slug, yeah. like <laughs> this big of a slug that was just stuck to his hand. Stuck to his hand and like, worked like in debt, like full dead asleep. asleep. <laughs> this is your manager. This is this the is manager, manager doing this to us. In Amazing. Oh, the amount of times he brought what that sheep up to our quarters. Bernard. He brought he brought Bernard. Bernard. He named it Bernard, didn't he? I know like, his name was Bernard. Oh, he brought a <laughs> sheep up in there just to <laughs> just come hang out. Like he'd he brought, he would find like a random stray dog, go wash it in the in the shower with him, let it shower with him. Like perfect. You would like feed the donkeys was was hysterical. I think I'm surprised he didn't ride a donkey. To be honest with you, I really am. I think he did I, go into I, the donkey cage. Or... Uh, <laughs> I feel like I remember him writing it. I'm like, I've watched so many episodes of this now. Uh, so yeah. I feel like he might have read. It. Anyways, we, uh, we have Emily and Grace. Any stories about Emily and Grace? Mm. I love Emily. Oh. oh. 
<laughs> so you love Emily. Grace, you're on the fence about potentially in housekeeping. Yes. Yes. Love Emily. Yeah. Grace, not so much. <laughs> okay. She's a nice well, listen, she's, a, she's, she's nice. Yeah, she's nice. <laughs> yeah, she's nice. <laughs> I mean, you guys, like, I love that. Nice. I love that you are. I can really sense the reality stardom here. Just like the, the <laughs> silence speaks volume. Uh, okay. Now we have the mixologist Telly, which Marciano in the first episode, you kind of, you kind of spar a little bit with Telly. Where, where are you on Telly? Um, here's my thing with Telly. You know what? She's a strong willed person and she speaks her mind. So it's something that I can respect, but it's something as a man that, I'm kind of like, hey, I'm trying to do a job too. You are too. I get it, but you, you're not going to come at me like that, and I'm not going to be okay with it at some point. And just sometimes the way she carried herself was not was not everyone was not fond of it. I think, but at, at the end of the day, I will say now, um, I'm a lot cooler with her. Just kind of understanding her a little bit more. I think going into there. It even took like Hannah's very similar. She's a strong willed person. She speaks her mind. I, I, it took me a while to understand that for a, a minute. And you know what? I wasn't really aware of it with Telly at, at the first. So I was, I was, I, I didn't even know how to handle it really because I'm somebody that's going to speak back. And yeah, you, know, you guys uh, got thrown into the deep end. And I love yeah. that Lisa Vanderpump. Lisa's like, I've got to go away for the evening. And then like leaves you guys there to, gen- yeah. I mean, it, it, and it kind of pops off. Uh, yeah. Hannah, what do you think about Telly? I mean, I love Telly. I mean, her and I, we were drawn the first night together. We roomed together. So um, she's exactly like me. We both speak our minds. We both say it how it is. And I think that kind of intimidates certain people in the house, you know, because, I mean, it's an aggressive personality. So, but yeah, I have no issues with her. And then we have yeah. Steven, who's an events coordinator, and you guys knew Steven from Vegas, like you said earlier. Mm-hmm. Now, Steven has an interesting storyline, too, because he potentially wants to be a manager as well, like Eric. So we see that play off. But, like, Steven has a really nice arc in this series as well. Do you guys, are you guys still friendly with Steven? Yeah, I'm friendly with Steven. Yeah, he, he has a storyline, though. That's his storyline. Well, that's what I mean. I, I don't know if I'm giving anything away, but like that he does want to be a oh, manager. No, no, no. Like I just, it just didn't really seem like he had much of a storyline. That's why I was curious. <laughs> Poor Steven. Okay. And then finally, no. <laughs> well, this is it. we have uh, Caroline, Gabriella, and Priscilla. So those are the, the, the three other, you know, and those are everywhere from events coordinator, Gabriella, who plays a big part this season. And then you have Priscilla, a server, and Caroline's the sous chef. Um, and, uh, where do you stand with all three of those ladies right now? We're actually going to see Caroline soon, like probably yeah. an hour. Yeah. We'll see her soon. And then, um, Priscilla, I don't, I mean, I don't really talk to her as much. Yeah. Uh, Gabriella I don't talk to at all. Yeah. Gabriella really? is a no go. Gabriella is a no go for sure. Um, that's just not, that. it's just, just not somebody well, that we're like, okay. It's just not someone we were very close with, to be honest. Kind of like a grace. Yeah. Those two are kind of like non-existent to us for the well, most part. Well, I mean, how long were you in uh, in the south of France? How long did you shoot this show? Six uh, weeks, right? Yeah, six, six weeks. Six, six weeks. weeks. Mm-hmm. Yeah. Okay, so six weeks. Yeah. I mean, you guys aren't on some sort of text thread as a group of like, oh my god, the billboards are everywhere. Check this out. There's no like overall group thread with you guys. There, there, there might be. There might be. That, I, there might be. But that doesn't mean Has anybody mean left the group thread yet? Has anybody left the group there, thread? Uh, that's highly possible. That's highly possible. <laughs> I even once left the group thread. It's highly possible. And came back. <laughs> you <laughs> left and came back, Anna? Wait, what yeah, was the I thing left. that made you I, leave? I added you back, actually. Wait, I added I think, her back. I think it was like we were in an argument, and I was like, screw this. And I like left, uh, and then he's like, I'm adding you back. That looks... <laughs> So, yeah, okay. I, yeah, I need I need but, cameras to follow you guys around twenty four seven right now. I feel no, like this no, is that would be so. You have no idea. That would be so bad. <laughs> be so um, so bad. But um, we got... <laughs> when it came to when it comes to the whole staff, honestly, I mean, there's only a, a slight couple that we're really honestly not like really close with anymore. Other than that, like we're really we're we're pretty much good with everyone. We like everyone. We're we're going to be seeing everyone on a more fairly basis. I know we're going to be seeing everyone again soon so um you know i think we were happy overall with a majority of the group yeah 
That's for sure. Mm-hmm. Well, I, I, yeah, I'm, I'm really excited for people to see this group in action. Okay. So Marciano, here's a big one. Okay. What would possess you to drink that heavily the night before and with the guests behind the bar, like you were, and this is like, almost, I was like, is this fake? Like this dude's in really good shape. You were like chugging all sorts of different liquor. How can your body be put through this? Like, and how are you even able to get up the next morning? Okay. For one, once again, I said I live in Las Vegas. <laughs> two, two, I am highly trained in drinking with my guests. Oh, what is going on with that? Whoa, uh, I'm high- the balloons. <laughs> I'm, um, I'm highly <laughs> trained in drinking with guests. Okay, um, at our job and where we we currently work in Las Vegas, it's I don't. It's encouraged. It's encouraged. We they let us do it a lot and. It it helps with clientele. So I was like, I knew what I was getting into. I knew what I was going to do. And I have the tolerance for it. I I go out a lot in Las Vegas. And you've trained you know, for this I, your entire life. You've trained, I trained that's what you're for basically this. Doing. And I was you're ready for it. You know what? But I am a professional. That's one, Ryan. But two, also, the beginning of it was nerves at first. I knew there was a lot yeah. of pressure on me. I wanted to make sure I made Lisa proud and made myself proud. Now, did I take it a little too far? Yes, he did. Yeah, I, I took it a little too far. But I, you know, I, I, I had a good feeling that I was going to be able to handle myself. That's for sure. I, I, you're, it's reality show gold, Marciano. It's reality show gold. Um, okay, that's good. Uh, moving along as we start winding down here, I'm going to play. We're going to play a game here. We're going to play okay. so bad, uh, so bad or so good, Vanderpump so Villa good. edition. And all you have to say is either so bad or so good with these very silly questions. Okay, here we okay. go. Hannah, Hannah, is it so bad or so good to go to the south side of France with your ex-boyfriend and work with him in that same location? So bad um, or so good? It's so good. So no, good. it's so good. It's what so are you bad. talking I can about? Vibe off of it. <laughs> <laughs> okay, that really. I thought you would say so bad. That's great. Yeah. You thrive. She yeah. was cool with it because she made it well known. It was a little bit. I got like it made me want to get up in the morning, and it was exciting. So yeah, to f- mess with him. Okay. Okay. Yeah. Um, Marciano, is it so bad or so good? We just talked about this to drink with the guests and from behind the guest bar after Lisa expressed to not do those things. Oh God, you had to throw the Lisa part into it. Lisa said, and you said you respect Lisa. You said you respect her at her business acumen. I very much respect Lisa, but I also know. I'm going to say so good because Lisa Whoa. wants the guest to leave happy. Lisa <laughs> wants the guest to leave happy. She knows what she's doing when she asks me to make sure they leave happy. There was one part where you lit- Marciano tells the guest, he's like, hey, if you're not going to finish that, I'll take it. Like you were literally asking for the shots. It was great. I forgot. Uh, so good. Okay. I is it- so good. This is for both of you guys. Is it so okay. bad or so good that Eric, the manager in the first episode, after you all go to sleep, winds up in a pool with one of his staff members chugging champagne? So bad or so good? It's so, so good. What? I was going to say so bad. No. It's absolutely no, not. no, you can't change your so vote. That is, that is a split. That is a fl- okay. <laughs> you think that's good? Oh. Anna thinks it's so good. I gotta tell you, Lisa better not watch this We're interview in at all. We're in the South of France. Like we all live together. It's hard. <laughs> I think I was a little. <laughs> oh. Okay. Okay. I mean, yeah, in Eric's I'm defense, in Eric's answer. defense, he didn't kiss her that night. In Eric's yeah, defense, no, they're just having fun. I mean, we all live together. It's not it's like true. they were doing anything bad. Okay, here this is for both of you as well. Now, Lisa Vanderpump cooks for you the first night. Delicious chicken and roasted potatoes. She cooks so for you. Okay, so well, good. was Lisa's cooking, and think carefully about your answer, so bad or so good? I'm going to say so good, but the question... So good. I mean, it was delicious. It was the really food was good. delicious. The food delicious. was delicious. I don't remember much of it, though, to be clear. I remember it because I was Yeah, like, by the way, Hannah, this is just for you, actually. There's- yeah, I, I think I was pretty heavily intoxicated at that point. <laughs> so I think it was absolutely amazing. It was delicious. <laughs> okay, we got two more here. Marciano, okay. is it so bad or so good to reveal very intimate details about your relationship with Hannah in front of your coworkers 
that you're meeting for the first time at dinner? Is that so bad or so good? Please answer this. Please. Okay, I'm going to say so bad. I'm going to say yes, so bad. that is the right <laughs> answer. That is the right uh, that answer. Was so, uh, I'm getting eaten alive for that. I oh my god! Eaten alive for that. Yeah, I'm that doing was... disgusting DMs on Instagram <laughs> right now. No. I'm like, yeah. Oh my god! Get, oh, get ready for the DMs, you guys. Get ready yeah. for. I thought it was get a ready. compliment. I thought it was a compliment <laughs> to her. But <laughs> god, I know where you were thinking that, but when it's so intimate, you can't just say that at a table with cameras on you. I love it. <laughs> though, but I, yeah. Okay. This is for both I of you. I hate him. Is, I love your relationship so much. And I, anyways, okay, okay. Is Vanderpump Villa so bad or so good? Oh, so good. So good. Yes. It's, not even it's not even a question. That's like, so good. Okay. Check that was done. the right answer. Okay. Yeah. Um, okay. As we uh, wrap up here, can you tease what lies ahead for the viewers? Yeah, absolutely. You want to see some little tease? Lots of drama. You got it. You're going to see us all come out at the end. Yeah. Better people. Better you, people? No. no gotta, I got to no. tell you, I don't think no. that's, that's not true. That's not right, Anna. No, that's, no, that's not, not true at all. <laughs> okay. Okay. I lied. He's seen uh, all 10 episodes. He knows. Yeah. It's like, that's just not true. Yeah. Yeah. Um, uh, no, no, I will I, say. I think, honestly, you're, what you're going to really see is you're going to see a lot, a lot of drama, but you're going to see a lot of us you know, trying to overcome adversity when it comes to working at our jobs and trying to like actually get the job done, make Lisa proud, make these guests happy. I mean, like each and individual guest that Lisa brings in to this chateau is celebrating something. And honestly, why she brought us in was to make sure that their celebration was the best thing possible. So yeah, you're going to see us go to every end of the world to try and make those Anything guests happy. For them. everything yeah. and then on top of that try and have an absolute blast while doing it was like the cherry on top of just us creating chaos at the at the villa so yeah and i gotta tell the audience i know that you know it, it's really like a beautifully shot show like the 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 scenic you know the locale is beautiful uh it is so well put together it is like just glossy glamorous all of the things that you know from lisa vanderpump already but i gotta say i really actually liked the cast a lot like i really grew to like you guys and i was very excited to like keep watching episodes um uh would you do a second season if this gets renewed which i think it will be uh will will you do this again if if offered the chance a hundred percent yeah <laughs> yeah absolutely oh like, okay. it's not even a question i think i think the viewers would be disappointed if we didn't come back for a second season. i'm pretty sure i like i bawled my eyes out leaving like yeah, yeah. that's what i mean yeah. like i i really i i hope there's a second season because i want to see this grow um but then even just to you guys and who you are as people what are your personal dreams and visions for the future because i don't think anybody ever thinks i want to be a reality star I don't mm -hmm. think that's ever usually so. I mean, maybe nowadays it is, but like what, what were your original dreams and uh, visions for the future? And has that changed since working on this show? I mean, I feel like mine, I love beauty and like, you'll see it on the show. Like I'm just very obsessed with like my lip gloss, everything. I'd love to like <laughs> go into the beauty industry. This, like, is a make good, that. By the way, this is a great platform to do things like that. Right. Yeah, for sure. Uh, Mar Marciano beauty industry as well. Oh, absolutely. I just got some Botox done the other day. <laughs> no, but um, no, I, I've always been into acting and, and whatnot. I did that at a young age, so like doing stuff in, in middle school and high school. I'll probably try and go down that route of some feature films. I've already got a couple of offers of doing some small little stuff, but we'll see if not. I mean, the entrepreneurial route is something I've also done since I was in my 20s as well. So being able to honestly take this platform and create something after is something that we're both very grateful for mm -hmm. because it allows us to actually, you know, be our own selves and not have to work a, a nine to five if possible, which is yeah. good. Is Lisa so. Vanderpump going to take you out while you're here in Los Angeles? Any, uh, uh, uh we'll see. I well, doubt it. Okay. Now, okay. You well, know, we have an open invite to go to, to, uh, Villa Rosa. Villa Rosa. Villa Rosa. Oh, you go go to Villa Rosa. You gotta know, see we Hannah. Have to. She said Hannah's going to raid her closet. <laughs> Oh, good luck with that. Um, anyways, oh, wow. 
I think you guys are fantastic. I really, truly think you're the breakout star. So thank you so much for spending so much time with us today. Everybody listening or watching at home, Vanderpump Villa every Monday on Hulu. This is appointment television. Add this to your list. Uh, Lisa Vanderpump always brings it and she will not disappoint. I'm telling you, this is one to watch. Hannah and Marciano, thank you so much again. I hope you had a good time and I hope to talk to you again when you're big stars. Oh, absolutely, Ryan. Anytime for you, bud. Thank Thank you so much.